Okay, so we're in InDesign and we've brought in our picture uh, from Photoshop, which we've prepared. Now, I'm going to just change the layout of this a little bit. Uh, I'm going to increase the binding box, that blue box, and then increase the size of the image. So I've got the four guys going across the two pages. Now, do be careful of the fold, which is just the line that divides the two pages, and that you don't have any kind of real significant content down that fold because it's it's not a very good thing to do so that's why we've got two just on um, the left hand side of the page and two on the right so we haven't really got anything that's going to be lost uh, in the fold of the page um, I'm just going to create a very simple uh, black box which is going to act as a placeholder for our text so it's that to control the fill and the stroke, so the stroke is black, which means that the blue box will have a black outline, and this is the fill, so we're going to make that black. So it's filled that little box that we've drawn uh, into a sort of black colour. Now, <clears throat> I may have um, created a gradient so it blended into the picture a little better, but this is just to give you a rough guide as to how things work in InDesign. So it's not going to be 100% perfect, but I'll at least show you how to combine. Uh, images and text basically. So um, if we go back to the font and we find a font, so I've searched here for a font that I quite like, which I think will work with the genre of music that we're working with, which is called Chinese Rocks. If I hit download, and then it's the TTF file that we want, so if I double click on that, and then install font, and that's now installed. Back in Photoshop, uh, sorry, InDesign. And then if I'll create a header, so just using the T and I'll just click and drag the text box. Um, I'm going to create a headline for our magazine using this Chinese rocks font. I'm going to change the font color to paper. Not the most engaging title, albeit, but as I say, this is just merely an example. So we've got an interview with the art technologies. Um, hmm, I'm going to change the size of that font a little bit so we don't go into the fold of the page. <coughs> So then what we want to do is create some text boxes to um, hold the main text of the article. So you'd write your article in Word first, in Word, and then you'd actually bring it into um, InDesign afterwards. Now, if we create, I'm going to have two main columns. So if I draw one text box and then I copy, and well, sorry, before we copy that, if I control click and then it brings up this menu and then click on fill with placeholder text and we can't see anything because the default color color of the placeholder text is black now if we change that to paper you can see that we've got a little um, text box full of text which is quite conventional looking text for a magazine and then I'm just going to copy and paste that so we've got the same size columns and just drag that in using the column guidelines that we set up at the beginning of the document if you press W, you've got Interview the Arctic Monkeys. Now, there's a couple of other things that I want to do just to make it look a bit more professional. I'm just going to put a line in using the line tool, which separates the header and the main article text. Um, just making sure that the color, sorry, the stroke color is white. And then we've got a nice white line there, and I'm just going to draw a black line to separate the top of the page and the main article. Um, so I actually I've drawn a squint line, so if I just draw that again very quickly, and that will finish that off. So that will basically be a 
basic two page 